The near close back rounded vowel, or near high back rounded vowel, is a type of vowel sound, used in some vocal languages. The IPA symbol that represents this sound is. It is informally called horseshoe U. Prior to 1989, there was an alternate IPA symbol for this sound, called closed omega. Use of this symbol is no longer sanctioned by the IPA. In Americanist phonetic notation, the symbol a small capital U is used. Sometimes, especially in broad transcription, this vowel is transcribed with a simpler symbol U, which technically represents the close back-rounded vowel. Handbook of the International Phonetic Association defines as a mid-centralized lowered and centralized close back rounded vowel transcribed u or u diaresis and the current official IPA name of the vowel transcribed with the symbol is near close near back rounded vowel however some languages have the close mid near back rounded vowel a vowel that is somewhat lower than the canonical value of though it still fits the definition of a mid centralized u it occurs in some dialects of English such as General American and Geordie as well as some other languages such as Maastrichtian Limburgish. It can be transcribed with the symbol a lowered in narrow transcription. For the close mid near back rounded vowel that is not usually transcribed with the symbol or u, see close mid back rounded vowel. In some other languages such as Bengali, Korean and Luxembourgish as well as some dialects of English such as Scottish there is a fully back near close rounded vowel a sound between cardinal u and o which can be transcribed in IPA with u or o There is even one language Palula that contrasts a long near close back rounded vowel with a short close mid near back rounded vowel but they tend to be transcribed simply as u and u a few languages also have the near close back unrounded vowel which does not have a separate IPA symbol in their inventory Topic <laughs> near close back protruded vowel The near close back protruded vowel is typically transcribed in IPA simply as, and that is the convention used in this article. As there is no dedicated diacritic for protrusion in the IPA, symbol for the near close back rounded vowel with an old diacritic for labialization, can be used as an ad hoc symbol for the near close back protruded vowel. Another possible transcription is or a near close back vowel modified by endolabialization, but this could be misread as a diphthong. The close mid near back protruded vowel can be transcribed or, whereas the fully back near close protruded vowel can be transcribed u, or u. Features Its vowel height is near close, also known as near high, which means the tongue is not quite so constricted as a close vowel, high vowel. Its vowel backness is back, which means the tongue is positioned as far back as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Unrounded back vowels tend to be centralized, which means that often they are in fact near back. Its roundedness is protruded, which means that the corners of the lips are drawn together, and the inner surface is exposed. Occurrence. Note, because back-rounded vowels are assumed to have protrusion, and few descriptions cover the distinction, some of the following may actually have compression. <laughs> Near-close-back compressed vowel Some languages, such as Norwegian, are found with a near-close-back vowel that has a distinct type of rounding, called compressed or exolabial. There is no dedicated diacritic for compression in the IPA. However, the compression of the lips can be shown with the letter B as B simultaneous and labial compression or modified with labial compression. The spread lip diacritic may also be used with a rounded vowel letter as an ad hoc symbol, though technically spread means unrounded. Only the Shanghainese dialect is known to contrast this with the more typical protruded endolabial near close back vowel, although the height of both of these vowels varies from close to close mid, the fully back variant of the near close compressed vowel can be transcribed b, or u. <laughs> <laughs> Features Its vowel height is near close, also known as near high, which means the tongue is not quite so constricted as a close vowel, high vowel. 
Its vowel backness is back, which means the tongue is positioned as far back as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Unrounded back vowels tend to be centralized, which means that often they are in fact near back. Its roundedness is compressed, which means that the margins of the lips are tense and drawn together in such a way that the inner surfaces are not exposed. Topic: Occurrence. Equals equals notes. <laughs>